we saw with the two, two variable, two equation systems in the first section that uh, there were special ones which had no solutions. And these were the result of parallel lines. Uh, we also had, and those were called inconsistent. There's also a type mentioned where actually both equations were identical. The one was a multiple of the other, but they were the same lines. And so that produced infinitely many solutions. And that was called a dependent situation. So inconsistent, dependent, um, you know, no solution or no unique solution. Those, that's what we saw in, in the first section. Well, naturally that's going to occur in three dimensions with three variables, three unknowns. Except it's, it gets even more, more varied because if each of these represents a plane, then I could have parallel planes, which never meet. I could have uh, planes which all meet along a single line. So imagine a book and there are three planes which all meet along the spine of the book. They do not intersect in a point, they intersect in a line, so that would be, uh, I believe, a dependent situation. Um, you could have two planes parallel and one slicing this way, and those three do not meet in a single point. Um, you know, there's, there's probably some more. So there's, there's a greater variety of things that can happen with these which would not produce the intersection into a single point. In other words, we'll not produce a unique single solution. So what I've done so far has resulted in a single point because three planes intersected there. All right, well, I happen to know ahead of time that this one is, is not going to intersect in a point, but I want you to see what happens with one of these. And it'll give you one more, one more example to, to look at. So uh, I'll read it off quickly. 2x minus y plus 2z equals to 7, 4x plus 2y plus 4z equals negative 3, negative x plus 3y minus z equals to 2. So what should we do here as far as, as, far as elimination? And um, I'm looking at, actually the first two equations look kind of nice because with 2 and 4 in the x's and 2 and Four and the z's, I'm thinking that I can cancel x and z at the same time. So that might be, might be kind of nice. So let me again label these. Equation 1, 2, and 3. Since I've done a couple more video examples, I'm going to work this one pretty fast so we can get through it. I'm going to take um, negative 2 times equation 1. And that gives us negative 4x plus 2y minus 4z equals to negative 14. I'm going to add equation 2, 4x plus 2y plus 4z equals to negative 3. Combining these, like we said, the, in this case, the x's and z's will cancel together. I have 4y equals to negative 17. So divide both sides by 4, y equals to negative 17 over 4. All right, so there's, there's one solution. We know what y theoretically is. Okay, now, um, going from there, now I had combined the first two equations, so I need to, to utilize the third equation. And um, I think what I'm going to do is to replace y into the third equation and also into the first equation. Mm -hmm. So in the first equation, we get 2x minus negative 17 fourths plus 2z equals to 7. And that turns into, note that the negatives cancel, 2x plus 2z is equal to 7 minus 7 fourths, 17 fourths. So since 7 is 28 over 4, 
When I subtract 17 fourths from both sides, I'll get 11 fourths. So here's one equation with x and z, and that was done by, again, to recap it, I took the first equation and I replaced y in it to produce an equation with x and z. And I need to use the third equation because I haven't used it yet, so, uh, but I also need to make room. So let me race up here. So in the third equation, I'm going to replace y with negative 17 fourths, negative x plus 3 times negative 17 fourths minus z equals to 2. And this becomes uh, minus x minus z equals to um, the right-hand side. Uh, let's see, I kind of jumped the gun here. I need fourths as my common denominator. So this is 8 fourths. This is negative 51 fourths. So when I add that term to both sides, it becomes plus 51 fourths on the right side. So the right side is 59 fourths. Okay, so let me, let me kind of clean this up a little bit. And I have minus x minus z equals to 59 fourths down here. So I'm going to erase above it. And you might look at this and think, well, wait a minute. Those are parallel lines. Because if I, this equation is negative 2 times that equation on the left side, but the right side doesn't match. If you don't follow that, let me, let me go ahead and, and solve the system. 